In our next Integrative Hermetic Health Show, Hugo Rodier, MD, shares his views on the Medicare for All plans of the Democrats. This will be a very interesting two-part show, emphasizing certain aspects of the health care problem not generally even touched by mainstream media. Here's a clip from the Los Angeles Times talking about the possibility of Medicare for All. Although there's been a lot of excitement about the plan, perhaps suggesting majority of voters for the proposal, interest in the plan has slipped since January, possibly because of the confusion presented by so many Democratic candidates, offering a great many variants on the plan and the dangers some felt also, in losing some or all of their private insurance. Back in 2017, there was not too much timidity or confusion about what people wanted. This is a clip from the Washington Post. I'm a lifelong Kansan. If public hearings are not held in the Senate on the next Senate bill, will you withhold your vote? Uh, I will not. Without public hearings, though, how will we know that it does have what you want in it? Uh, I'll do my best to make sure that uh, I would, you know, I will not walk away from any vote I cast. I'll be explaining a no vote. I'll be explaining a yes vote. For instance, the latest bill introduced in the House by Pamela Jayapal, a Democrat from Washington, and Debbie Dingell, a Democrat from Michigan, is different from the bill introduced by Bernie Sanders in the Senate. For one thing, it goes fully into effect in two years, whereas Sanders takes four years. One cannot help forget the massive problems with Obamacare that happened because of flaws supposedly in the program itself. For confusion or not, the need is vitally felt by so many of our citizens left out by the current system. Also, the House plan called the Medicare for All plan of 2019 covers long-term care for older people and persons with disabilities, many of which generally struggle to be able to pay for these benefits. This, however, is a high-cost proposition. The new plan also gives the government the right to negotiate prices directly with manufacturers, something forbidden previously by law that let the pharmaceutical industry charge the American public some of the highest prices in the world while forbidding them to buy their drugs from Canada. On the other hand, the House bill does allow private health care for items not covered in the single government bill. Also, doctors can also refuse to take the insurance and charge their patients cash. But as our shows demonstrate, Medicare for All, as it stands, probably in all these bills, only addresses financial compensation in a tremendously bloated health care system, which includes reliance on costly big pharma drugs that often mask symptoms, do not affect actual curative treatments, many unnecessary surgeries, over-reliance on specialists, and perhaps worst of all, as we have discussed in our last two shows, a dangerous deficiency in the training and practice of medical doctors regarding the causes of so many negative health conditions due to bad nutrition. Join us then on the Integrative Hermetic Health Show as we deal with Medicare for All issues, 
often not discussed, ones that reflect badly on both the current health care system and even the most significant efforts to legally reform health care in the United States.